Welcome to the local news network Telluride. I'm Julia Caulfield. In the headlines, a 39-year-old woman was killed in a fatal bear attack outside of Durango on April 30th. Fatal bear encounters in Colorado are rare. The last one took place in 2009 near Ure. The black bear sow and her two cubs involved in the accident were euthanized. The San Miguel County Sheriff's Office urges residents to hike in groups, make some noise, and take a detour if you see a bear. In the case of a bear encounter, speak softly and wave your hand slowly so as not to appear as a threat. If a bear does attack, fight back with an object or blows to the face. And as always, keep your trash locked up and never leave food outside or in your vehicle. San Miguel County remains in level blue on the state's COVID dial, and vaccines continue to roll out this month. To date, over 4,000 San Miguel County residents have received their full vaccination. For more information, go to sanmiguelcountyco.gov. Telluride Town Council has canceled its 4th of July festivities due to concerns about crowds and pandemic restrictions. Other events this summer will move forward, although they're looking a little bit different. Bluegrass and the Ride Festival are extending their dates instead of taking place on a traditional single weekend. Balloon Fest, Jazz Fest, Blues and Brews, the Film Festival and the Yoga Festival are planning for in-person events at some capacity. In other news, the Wilkinson Public Library is expanding its in-person hours and services and eliminating capacity restrictions. Appointments aren't necessary, but masks are. Curbside pickup and online programming will still continue, including a four-part series on forest health from 6 to 8 p.m. each Thursday in May. Visit telluridelibrary.org for more information. For Local News Network Telluride, I'm Julia Caulfield. For more local news, tune in to KOTO Radio weeknights at 6 p.m. or check out telluridelocal.news. Thanks for watching.